Hey beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. I hope this video finds you in power, peace, love, and a sound mind. Blessings out to all of you. Now, this is about men are made to be strong, not weak. So, one way that the devil attacks men, Satan, is to make them weak in more ways than one. You understand? Like, physically weak, spiritually weak, mentally weak, emotionally weak, sexually. When I'm talking sexually loins, sexually undisciplined. So we're going to talk about the mind, the heart, the loins, the hands and the feet. Because men are made to be strong, not weak. So you know the opposite of strong is weak. So if men, you know, are supposed to be strong there's things that the devil attacks in them for them to be weak not just men women too right but we're talking about men because god wants me to talk about men um okay so the mind the heart the loins hands and feet right so Psalms chapter 80 verse 17 let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand upon the son of man whom thou made strong for thyself so God made the man strong for himself the first book of Kings chapter 2 verse 2 I go the way of all the earth be thou strong there therefore and show thyself a man you hear that be thou strong therefore and show thyself a man because, you know, God made men to be strong. Not just strong physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, sexually. With their, not, when I say sexually, sexually disciplined. You know, holy and set apart. There's times men have to be holy and set apart. They have to be balanced. When a man is unbalanced, he's unstable in all his ways. Psalm chapter 80 verse 17. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand upon the son of man whom thy whom thou made strong for thyself now we know god made men strong for themselves but how can a man get weak deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 8 therefore shall you keep all the commandments which i command you this day that you may be strong when men keep god's commandments they don't lie they don't cheat they don't commit, they don't steal, they get strong. They're real, they're made strong. And go in and possess the land, whether ye go to possess it. Like they're balanced, they're strong. Joshua chapter one verse nine. Have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever thou goes. Why does it tell you to be strong, be of good courage, be not afraid? Because that's your mind. If you're afraid, you're mentally weak, right? Be dismayed, that's an attack on the mental. So a man's supposed to not just be strong physically. Courage, fear not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. So the mind, so not just be strong physically, so be strong and of good courage. So this is not telling you just to be strong physically, but courage. So you're mentally, psychologically strong. Be not afraid. It's about your, remember, fear is in the mind. Be not afraid. So be strong mentally. Neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wheresoever thou goes. So men are not supposed to be fearful and unbelieving. But they're not all, they're, but a man will be fearful if he lacks love. That's how the devil destroys men. He keeps their heart in hate. Perfect love casts out fear. And if they have, they're fearful, they don't have love. If they don't have love, they have fear. There's something that they're afraid of. You understand? There's something that they're not, they're being discouraged in. There's something they're afraid of. There's something they're dismayed of. When, when Satan doesn't have a man have love, doesn't know love. A man has fear. Now Proverbs chapter 11 verse 16. A gracious woman retains honor. And strong men retain riches. 
So if strong men retain riches, how, what would the devil do to a strong man? He would attack his hands. He would attack his loins. Now we're going to get into that. The second book of Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 7. Be strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak. Let not your hands be weak. So your hands are not supposed to be weak. For your work shall be rewarded. So if your hands, the attack on the hands, your hands ain't supposed to be weak. Why? Because strong men retain riches. Now, wisdom, men who with wisdom are strong. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5, a wise man is strong. So how would the devil keep a man from being strong? Making sure he's a fool. A wise man is strong, yeah. A man of knowledge increases strength. Doesn't God say, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge? And because you, they've rejected knowledge, you'll reject them? So a wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength. So the greatest thing is to know you should always be seeking knowledge, but not just knowledge. You'd be seeking understanding. You should be seeking wisdom. <laughs> so a wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength. So a fool being a fool makes you weak men who don't learn so then if we go back up here intellectually right so satan wants men to be weak not physically spiritually mentally intellectually as well emotionally psychologically sexually undisciplined because they're off a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways satan be throwing off men's mind and as you see in the other video where God talked about men that they're, a man's heart is made different from a woman's and the heart and the mind go together. So he be attacking men's mind and their hearts and their hands to make them, you know, not be able to do, get their riches and for them to do all kinds of sinful things to get it other than, you know, deliverance of their hands, you know. And to find out what he did to them from God. But ye, but you are strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Now, a wise man is strong. Now, Proverbs chapter 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. So, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. That's why wise men are strong. A fool doesn't want to learn. A fool rejects knowledge. You read Proverbs talk about the fool rejecting knowledge. The fool takes no instruction. Without the instruction, is this, you'll face destruction. Now, Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Romans chapter 4 verse 20. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith. So men are supposed to be strong in faith. That's mentally strong. Strong in faith is your belief system. So mentally strong. He tries to kill your faith. So listen to this part. You're supposed to be strong in faith. A man's supposed to be strong in faith. Strong in the Lord. That's you being strong spiritually. You understand? So he attacks you being strong. Mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, sexually. And we're going to get there. So your faith, that's the part where you're supposed to be spiritually strong. Now, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. So remember I told you you tax the heart. Didn't I say that? Give you a weak heart or an evil heart or a hateful heart, a stiff-necked heart, a, a broken heart. You understand? He does that. He destroys your heart. He says, and he gives you a wicked heart. And it says, the heart of men is desperately wicked. And it tells you, you're told to guard your heart. So these are the things that Satan could do. Remember I said a fear for a love. He teaches men not to love. Right? 
they're not supposed to show no love, right? That's a fearful heart. If you have a heart of love, there's no fear there. Perfect love casts out fear. So, so say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Now, um, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raising. I'm um, raging. Forgive me. So wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Why? Why would it say if you're deceived by liquor, you're not wise? Remember, you could drink, but you had to drink moderation. You're not supposed to drink to get drunk. You're not supposed to drink every day. Right? Whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Why? It makes you weak. When you have when you drink too much, it makes you unbalanced. It makes you weak. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, intellectually, psychologically. Drinking every day makes you weak. Amen. Isaiah chapter 5 and 22. Like the enemy attacks people who are drunk. Who When you drink a lot, you already have Satan. You're open to a lot of demonic attacks. You're, you're, you're supposed, you can drink, but you're not supposed to drink every day. You're not supposed to drink to get drunk. You drink in moderation. That's written also. Amen. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. So men of strength to mingle strong drink. Woe to them. Why? These things can make you weak. In different areas. Isaiah. The, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 he give he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength so Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me amen the second book of Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 thou therefore my son be strong in grace which is Christ which is in Christ, right? So how do you, strong in faith? So what are men also supposed to be? Strong in strong in grace, strong in faith. That's out there. I read that one already. So strong in faith, strong in grace, strong hands, strong in faith. See, not have a fearful heart. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord spiritually. Wise. Wise men are strong. They're going to keep going. Nahum chapter 2 verse 1. He that dashed in pieces has come up before thy face. Keep the munition. Watch the way. Make thy loins strong. Fortify power mightily. It says make thy loins strong. Grid up thy loins. Even it tells you grid up thy loins. The breastplate of righteousness, shield of faith. You understand grip? What is your loins? You're not supposed to give your strength on to women. Sexually, your loins. Sexually disciplined. Loins grit about with truth. Breastplate of righteousness. So now your loins are supposed to be strong. You're not supposed to give in to temptation. Sleeping with all these people. Committing adultery. Your loins are supposed to be strong. And that's how Satan makes you weak. Sleeping with a lot of individuals. Having a lot of partners. That's how Satan makes men weak. Their loins. Their mind. Their heart. Their hands. Their feet. Their spirit. Because if he can... He makes them lack confidence. He discouraged them. He makes them fear. Fearful heart. Scared and afraid. You understand? 
So these are the things God wanted me to talk about. And this is how they combine you up. Because make thy loins strong. Women. Then he sends all these wicked women. Or however, you know. All these days people are in all kinds of stuff. It might even send a man. Who knows. For Proverbs chapter 7 verse 26. For she has cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. Because they don't know. They're sexually undisciplined and they're sleeping with everyone and they make their loins weak. And then this is how like they buck up on a wicked woman, a witch of a woman, a harlot type of woman. You know what the one that Proverbs chapter seven talks about, a strange woman tells him the type of woman he should stay, stay away from and say to wisdom, thou art her sister and call understanding his king's woman. And they're at that they may keep thee from a strange woman, from the stranger which flatters with her words. You know, she does all this stuff, come to her home, cheat and commit adultery with her. He gets him to go to commit adultery with her. And he leads her astray. She leads him astray. And then he this she made him a weak man and cast him down. He was cast down to her. And God tells her her house is the way to hell, going to the chambers of death. So that's what he wanted to talk about as well. Like men been being weak with their sexually, sexually undisciplined and um, weak loins. And your loins are supposed to be made strong. Like your heart's supposed to be made strong. You're supposed to have sexual discipline. There's... Um, Proverbs chapter 7 verse 26 For she has cast down many wounded Yeah many strong men have been slain by her And when the devil knows you be sleeping around and promiscuous He'll send you those type of people Now Mark chapter 3 verse 27 No man can enter a strong man's house and spoil his goods Except he will first bind the strong man And then he will spoil his house but there's more more than one way that these people, a strong man, how many different ways is a man strong? So they had to know, how is the devil coming to, in their house to spoil his goods? How is he trying to bind them? Is he trying to bind them sexually? Is he trying to bind them mentally? Is he trying to bind them spiritually? You understand? So there's different, different ways that the devil kills and attacks men's strength. Because they're supposed to be strong in different areas, more than one area. You know, as I said, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, intellectually, psychologically, all that. Consciously, they're supposed to have pure conscience. That And um, that's how he attacks the mental, right? Now, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 11. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying... Now, Romans chapter 15, verse 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. So you see, like, you know someone who's struggling with alcoholism. You're not going to say, okay, pull out no drink and be drinking around them. Or taking them to a, somewhere there's going to be drinks available because you're not trying to make them fall into their infirmity. You get me? And then, like, it says, be... All right, so you know someone is married and they, you know, they tend to be stepping out on their husband or their wife. You're not going to be the one to say, let me take them somewhere where, you know, they're going to be flirting and probably step out on their husband and their wife. You're not going to bring them weak to fall into temptation. All right. You understand? Now, the second book of Chronicle, I mean, sorry. Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9 for we are glad when we are weak and you are strong and this also we wish even your perfection Ezekiel 22 verse 14 can thy heart endure our oh sorry that was I don't know why that came in this one Zechariah chapter 8 and 13 and it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathen O house of Judah and house of Israel so will I save you and you shall be a blessing Fear not, but let your hands be strong. So you know your hands must be strong. 
and your hands were made strong by the hands of the Almighty. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 4. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Because when princes drink, um, they drink all the time, they do, they're not good in making judgment. They don't know how to judge a, a matter, a good from an evil. And kings are not supposed to be drunkards either because they could get attacked mentally, physically, emotionally, and all of that. And somebody always wants the king's crown. Someone's always coming for the king. So the king has to be protected. Now Joshua chapter 1 verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous. That thou may observe to do all according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. That thou mayst prosper wheresoever thou goest. So only be strong and very courageous so that's telling you not to fear be very strong and how do you be strong to observe to do the law and when you follow god's commandment you become stronger i psalms chapter 28 verse 8 the lord is their strength and he is the saving strength of his anointed joshua chapter 14 and 11 as i am as I, as yet i am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Men are supposed to be strong. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in, dis in its distress, a refuge from the storm and a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Now, Proverbs chapter 8 and 14. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. You know that people who are wise, they have strength. A wise man is strong. I just read that above scriptures. Now, Psalms chapter 18 32. It is God that grids me with strength and makes my way perfect. Psalms 59 and 9. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For God is my defense. Job chapter 17 verse 9. The righteous also shall hold on his way. And he that has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. You know how David says in Psalms 50. He says uh, in the Psalms it talks about wash my hands in innocency. So shall I compass thy altar. The hand, Listen here. The, the righteous also shall hold on his hands. And he that has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. Isaiah chapter 35 and 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. So men need to fear not. Holy men of God, fear not. Be not dismayed. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 9. Oh boy, forgive me. Um, sorry about that, Isaiah. I mean, Zechariah chapter 8, verse 9. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days. These words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the days that, were, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. So let your hands be strong in these last days. Psalms 31 and 24, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. So your heart needs to be strong. And these scriptures, you can help. That's why I put them there. These ones, Psalms 31 and 24 and Psalm Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. So he makes you weak in your body, weak in your hands. Psalms, weak not to work and get stuff out of your hands that's what he does to men for them not to protect them provide to make them look like bums but it's by design it's by design psalms 68 and 28 thy god has commanded thy strength strengthen O god that thou which that which thou hast wrought for us so men can use this scripture for, for god to strengthen them strengthen their hearts strengthen them you know, 
question um, 1 Peter 5 and 10 but the but the God of all grace who has called on to us his eternal glory by Christ after that you have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen settle you Psalms 27 and 14 wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart wait on the wait I say on the Lord Isaiah 41 and 10 fear thou not See, that's being mentally strong and psychologically strong, not to fear it. For I am with thee, be not dismayed. For I am thy God, I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And men should read that. Psalms 51 and 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. So when I told you about the heart, and you know it talks about the the hearts of men are desperately wicked. So what does Satan do? He attacks the heart of men. Then they can use this. Psalm 51 and 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The first book of Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. So the mind, he attacks the mind. So because, that's why a mind, you're supposed to have the mind of Christ. Cover your head in the day of battle. Helmet of salvation, you have to guard your mind, guard your heart and cover your head. Isaiah chapter 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not not faint. This men could use to be strengthened. Rise up from that. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yeah, because he attacks the mind. Mentally weak. Makes your mind weak. Now you can use this. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Holy Father, please re renew me in the spirit of my mind. You know, and Lamentations chapter 3, verse 21. This I recall to mind, to my mind, therefore I have hope. So this this what you recall to your mind, you know, the faith that you have in God. You know, you're supposed to, a man's supposed to be strong in faith. And therefore you're supposed to have faith, hope, and not be hopeless, and not be discouraged. Now, Titus chapter 1, verse 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. Unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. You see the people who are living in the world and they don't believe in the word of God and believe in the truth. Nothing is pure to them. Even when you show God's word to them, nothing is pure to them. They don't believe. You're a liar. It's defiled. No, they're because they're defiled and unbelieving they're not even made clean so they can't onto the pure all things are pure people have purified themselves purified their heart set apart they understand not the ones who are in a crowd who are full of defilement around all the crowd but onto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart. So a true heart. Honest heart. And full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. And our bodies washed with pure water. Psalms 138 and 3. In the day when I cried. Thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. So remember say you have to be spiritually strong mind body soul and spirit you can use this to strengthen your soul psalms 138 and 3 and strengthens me which strengthen my soul now 1 timothy 4 and 2 speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a high hot iron because you only lie when you're afraid or you're fearful you understand so lying is a part of messing up your own mental your conscience Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. They mess up their self when they lie like that. They make their self weak. It's 
Hebrews chapter 13, verse 18, pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience and all things willing to live honestly. 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So how does he get you to the lust of the flesh when he attacks your loins that's supposed to be strong? Lust of the eyes. Amen. Now 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And... If you never watched my video before, in it talks about in the scriptures. I didn't put it in this video, but it talks about God will show men their weakness, right? And now He made me make a video about the weaknesses, what what makes them weak, and how the devil gets them weak, makes them weak physically spiritually mentally emotionally intellectually sexually with their loins their heart their mind and their body and their hands so their mind their heart their loins their hands and their feet and he attacks their feet for them not to move forward you understand so the man's foot is supposed to be quick swift all those stuff i just never put it in this video but that is what he tries to make weak the mind, the heart, the loins, the hands, the feet, the mind, body, soul, spirit, the loins, sexually undisciplined, things like that. Everything's supposed to have balance. Even when you're in a marriage or in a relationship, you're supposed you're supposed to there's a time of separation when you're not supposed to be doing it, you know? Well, beautiful people, this is the message. Men are to be are made to be strong, not weak. And there's some scriptures in this video to help them overcome any weakness that the devil may be attacking. I'll stay blessed. Take care.